one thing you must remember that in the exam last time I only asked for the alphabet and the, I can't remember exactly, but I didn't ask for the phonetic divisions. But everyone, quite a few, gave me that, which was not necessary. Unnecessarily, you wasted your time. So I'm just saying. So pay attention what you are reading. What question is really asked? So aware phonetic divisions, ma. In vowels, as you know, the guttural is only. We have guttural. That is only a and. Ah, now I'm not writing the English version because Excuse you, me, Alan, you have to change your position of the mic. Uh, oh, okay. uh, sorry, sorry, good to remind Okay, hmm? so guttural is a uh, and a, uh. then palatal. Palatal is E, E and E, e. wrong E. Then labial, O and O, O and long O. Then cerebral, Ere. Okay, now there is no need for you all to define it. Like when you are giving the phonetic division, you don't have to say guttural, the sound is made by obstructing airflow in the throat. This is just an explanation. So you don't have to write all that. Just say guttural so much, palatal so much, labial so much, and cerebral is ere. Then there are diphthongs. The others are diphthongs. That is a and long a. Then a. A, this is A, and long A, and O, and long O. So these are diphthongs, and the special vowels are AO, uh. and A. Uh. So we have got four, seven, and six, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So 15 vowels are there. You have to first write, please write the vowels first and then the alphabet. And when you are asked to do it, just number the alphabet. So the person who is examining doesn't have to count every time. You know, you have to sit and see and then you have forgotten one. So I have to find out which one you have forgotten. So that takes a long time. So this is quite easy to remember. Guttural a a e e palatal u u labial cerebral ere then diphthong you must say a a a a and o o and special is a o and a then we go to the guttural in the consonant now guttural is here that is aspirant unaspirant and aspirant. So unaspirant ma, ka, ka, aspirant ma, ka, then the other ka. Then we have, I'm just writing here together only, ga, and this is the ga, ga. Aspirant ka and ga, ka and Ga, ka, I'm the outside, huh? This is that. Then palatal is cha and ja. Both are unaspirant. Then dental is dental in outside. Dental is ta and final ta. And the ta ta da ta ta da ta ta ne da then in this will be tha now remember this to write this huh? tha you all are already not right i am it must take a scope and then like this to make it tha because this you all are not doing properly this is the um 
aspirant tha and the other aspirant is the this also you have to write like this tha and the just remember that that you all have then labial is pa and ba and aspirant is fa then uh, cerebral to chhed nahi hai theek ha so now we remove the cerebral and we come to the after the labial then dental labial and nasal nasal is all the nas and the mas so we come to the now no more aspirant and an aspirant all are just the same so na na ma then ang and remember to write like this ha ek ahiya ek tail par check kar ang and ang this is with a cap on so na and no ma ang ang and write properly this sometimes you all don't try nasal then sibilant that you can see all the s's so that we come to sa sha sha that shia wala shia and z and z all the sa and z are there sa sha 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 z then we come to aspirant aspirant aspiration is h bilabial is Sir, Nanti, there's also semi-vowel liquid. Uh, you can't. Uh, huh? There's also semi-vowel or liquid Y, V, and R before aspirant. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot that. Sibilant mm. pachi na? I skipped it. So semi-vowel and liquid. don't write the explanations please ha huh? the semi vowel and liquid is ya remember to write the e separate ha huh? then ya ordinary wa that is two us wa is two us ya is two es and the wa and ra ra is also there ha huh? ya wa and ra then we come to the aspiration is ha can you all see it i and otherwise go on the top aspiration is ha then bilabial is wa w that okay we'll write here bilabial labial is w and the ligatures are there ha huh? don't forget this this one everyone most of the people forgot that is sta sta how do you write that you write the first the sha first okay and when in when you are doing a ligature when you are joining this sta is from pelvi so what they do when they join they take a big loop down below they take it up and then they do the ta so the sha and the ta are joined by the big loop it is known as ta and kwa this is also pelvi kwa kha plus wa this is written like this okay so in this we did that then i want to explain to you where the where you all are making mistakes in the reading of the alphabet or writing
Now, Tema. First, the E and U. E you have to take along, and U, I told you, will be pointed. So, when you are very clear, it should be. Then, this A is there. Um, no, this day. That big loop has to be there. First, that big loop, then a small one, and then like this. Sometimes you all write like this. So this looks like ka. This looks like ka, a and ka. So you can make a mistake in that. Can I save no A like you, ma'am? Huh? Can I save no A like you? I? You mean? A long A. Long E. A uh, E. This. Okay. Hmm. And, Thank um. Thank you. Even this. If you write like this, this A, ordinary A, hmm? if you don't put the big loop like this, but if you write like this, this looks like Kwa. So that also there is a, okay. then Pachi, the Sha, final Sha. This is the final sha. It stops over here at the top. But many people will do like this and put little bit, even a little down will look like A instead of sha. Okay. So this has to be there. Then the ya, beginning ya, and the sha, which is followed by ya. Please, Ainjara, Pushri Vadhare Karoke. This ya and sha don't get mixed up. This is the sha which is followed by ya. Okay. And this is the ya beginning ya. Then uh, ta, final ta. This is a little bit more. The is like this. Then ka. Ka is little short here. Huh? And da goes a little longer. So, ka and da also you don't mix up. Then, the na. Na sort of, now I think, hope you all are writing properly. It goes in a straight line with only a little bit here. It should not be written like this. Okay. I think all that is okay. Not much here. Eh? Then we go to the orthographic rules. Now, when writing orthographic rules, suppose somebody says write six rules. So please, I don't want you all to write that um, this is uh, ya is for beginning, then ya is for middle, then va is middle, then va is beginning. So in that you get four simple vas. This is ordinary, so you don't have to write. Maximum you write is ya and you write this wa as beginning. Then you can write ka. We'll see on page 17. This ka, it is used before the letter ya. So this is used before ya. An example you must give, the q. It is good if you if it is asked orthographic, you must give the example. One example at least you give. Then ta is used in the beginning and in middle of words and final ta. Hmm? So even that ordinary ta, there is no need to write. But this is final ta you must write. That final ta it is used at the end of the words. Or when followed by Ka or ba. Hmm? So, or when followed by ka or ba, the final is out and 
Akaisha is the teaching. Okay, so you can remember that. Then A. This is A. Ma'am, I final. So, I'm going to tell you that Kali Takaisha is the teaching. हाँ तकाईशन है आवत भी लगवानो आवत क्यों लगवानो हाँ आवत इस फॉर फाइनल ओके आवत इस फॉर फाइनल ता एंड तकाईशा इस फॉर द ता फॉलोड बाय का यू शुड राइट दैट देन ए इट रिप्लेसेस आ व्हेन फॉलोड बाय फाइनल मा एंड ना सो अहूरा ने मा और ए तो यू मेक इट अहूरम so A replaces A replaces A when it is followed by Ma or Na and then you can give the example of Aura Aura and Aurem hmm? words ending in Ra affix a final A after them so that you should write if you feel like writing Words ending in ra affix a final a after them and then you write datare. You all have written that in the book. I have given it to you. Huh? So that you should write and then datare. Now these are important ones which you should say. Then a is generally used in as final vowel. As for example, this a. Final vowel that is in me. Or in the combination of Eush, Eu. A is used as final vowel in Gathas and in the combination A. -A. Now, this is important. More than final vowel in Gathas, it is more the A. -A. It is used after A. -A. So, A, -A is common. Then, A O is used in the combination of Oh, short O. Shrinan, that... excuse me. This uh. A, they haven't put the accent on top. This is the other A, no? E, e with the little accent on top. Uh. They have written only plain E. It's a mistake. Okay, we'll correct that. Uh, correct it. Oh, which one are we correcting, Shrinan? Uh, this A. Which is used as final vowel. It should be E with the little accent on top. This is written as A. The, the, where the A is written only in the beginning. Uh, you put a fine uh, yeah, accent on top. It is already there in the uh, A. But here it is not written. Okay. So that is there. Then no. We are on orthographic rules page 17. So this no. It is used instead of no. When followed by a guttural or dental. So when followed by guttural or dental. So this is. The example given is Angushta. You can remember one or the two. Angushta and Jwant. I think Angushta may be a little easier because it's more common with her. Uh, yeah, correct. Anglu eritem. So you can remember Angushta from that. So that example you can give. Then we come to Ang. This Ang. This ang is used when preceded by e. So when e ing comes, like e ing, you have to use this ang. And the example given is daingu. Da, a, pachi, e, angu. That is country. Already country there above from followed kha followed by ya is there here that is dakyu so there are two names of dengu and dakyu 
Okay, so Dakhu is also country and Daingu is also country. So in the two, you can remember them and giving two examples. One is Ang and one is Kha. Then we come to W. W is Va sound. It is used for the first sound when it follows the and tha. When it follows the and tha, that means dhwa thai or thwa thai, then you use this. These are the ones you should write. Huh? Now, Ratviya is also there. The example has been given. You can remember that. Ratviya means time. Then we come to final sha. Final sha, it is used when the sha sound is for at the end of the word. This is final. And there is gairish. Now gairish you should remember because in declensions we have got gairish mountain. So you should remember that. And followed or when followed by cha or ta. Then this sha is used. And the example is Vahishta. Vahishta is best. Hmm? That you get Vahishta in Ashembo every time. Huh? So Vahishta you should remember. Then Sha it is used in the beginning and within a word that you need not write that. That should not be written. Used as one. The long Sha we can write. Shia. Shia is used. That is this. When sha sound is followed by ya, and example is ashya. When ya is used in the beginning, that you can write, but not the other ya. Then va is used in the beginning. Now we go to the Sandhis. So we go to the first one, Vowel Sandhis. That is Dirga. What is Dirga? This is combination of two similar simple vowels. That is same vowels together. I'll just write down all the Pachi will do. Huh? Pachi 2 is which is the next one is Guna. Guna is combination of two dissimilar vowels. Of which first one First one is A, of which first one is here. First Dirga is too similar. Guna is too dissimilar, of which first is A. Then next is Riddhi. Riddhi is combination again of two dissimilar vowels. Of which first one is A. Riddhi, this is A. And fourth is Antargata Sandhi. Antargata Sandhi, which is again two dissimilar vowels. Now the fact that Two dissimilar vowels have come here. Just two. You must understand that in this A is not there. I mean later on that A and all is there. But plain A is not there. Because already we have got Guna Sandhi of A. Beginning with A. Two dissimilar. Raddhi Sandhi of A. Beginning with A. And now other dissimilar. Other vowels. We have got the. So first we will do. If you remember this, no, at least it will help you. Even if you write this, it will help you remember. So, similar vowels means 
it is r plus r e plus e u plus u you can give this similar no, examples like this and then give, give at least two examples so whatever you can remember that is one thing is we must remember i forgot to tell you r plus r will always make long so it ends in a long vowel always ends similar vowels end in a long vowel so r plus r is a e plus e is long e u plus u is long u and if it one long u and one short u comes then it also ends in long u. okay so final ending is always long u so that you can remember to just try to rem choose any which you find easy so upasana dravaspa drava and aspa achi nidatha and ama nidathama chara ne ani charani vana ne am means vanam ni and ire is nire and hu and ukta is hukta so this is there then two dissimilar vowels uh, two dissimilar where first is ya a so this we are coming very often uh, we have seen so a plus e or long e becomes a a then a plus u is equal to a o remember that u is uh, second u or second e is always u short and long and a plus a a becomes r a plus e a a a plus u a o and a plus a a is r and that examples are there that now we have to learn na plus e the becomes na a the the easiest is a plus r a that is r to go towards and hada plus ukta is hada ukta then we come to the first one is a but in this there is little difficulty because a plus e a plus e becomes ai now this is okay a plus u becomes a u and a plus a a becomes a this is easy but that other one is there where a or a plus a a a plus a a becomes i sorry mera camera ab bana chuka hai i and a plus a o becomes a u this you have to remember that this extra is there these are very easy a plus e is i a plus u and a plus r but a plus a a becomes i and a plus a o becomes a u and a plus a te to join but the example he has given more is masda plus a a that is masdai aura plus a a is aurai and a plus e te is i te then we come to antargata sandhi antargata sandhi is actually not very difficult but there are plenty of examples also so this you should try and cover everything so if you get e plus a then e plus a you need not write but then you go to e plus u so oh, okay e plus a is ya e plus u becomes u remember when e is first and it joins another vowel the e becomes ya that means two e's it gets two e's what is written the first vowel changes into a consonant but the second vowel remains unchanged so e becomes ya then u becomes correspondingly u becomes va so when the first vowel is u it becomes va two va twos and becomes like a consonant okay so va va v v 
देन वो देन एरे एरे एज यूजल ऑलवेज बिकम्स रॉ सो एरे बिकम्स रॉ सो फर्स्ट वावल एरे एक एरे बिकम्स रॉ सो इट बिकम्स रा रू एन ऑन देन द डिफिकल्ट वन आर री एन ऑन अव this you should remember because sometimes it comes in the words also avo plus a so avo plus a the o here becomes va so it becomes a va then avo plus a becomes a va so o becomes va this is avo becomes avo plus a becomes ava then we come to aye aye plus a becomes aya the ya a becomes you remember i told you there is resemblance between e a and ya then u o and व इ एंड या उ एंड व ए एंड ओ दीज आर ऑल टूगेदर दिस इज सेपरेट दिस इज सेपरेट सो दिस कॉम्बिनेशन यू मस्ट रिमेंबर एंड देन यू गो टू द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ विच आर गिवन प्लेंटी यू हैव टू चूज इफ यू कैन चूज टू ओके देन वी गो टू कॉन्सोनटल शांति consonantal sandhi i am going to take it the way i try to remember that is where whenever it is followed when a dental con is followed by ta usually that ta so first rule is you can write your rules in any form any uh, way you like ha huh? means 1 2 3 you can write the other rules first so here we will take where it is sa plus ta no sorry i mean in dental consonant we have to start there we'll take that when a dental consonant that means dental plus ta now dental is what we did just now ta i i remember it like this ta थ ने ने से इज़ फाइनल दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड प्लस सो दिस द डेंटल कॉन्सनट चेंजेस टू सो इट बी कैन द अदर वन चेंजेस टू ज and when okay when it is followed by it is followed by the and the then this the 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 and the then this changes to z so when a dental consonant is followed by the the dental consonant changes to sa and when a dental consonant is followed by the or da it this changes to sa so this is the first rule okay then we come to the second one when the last letter of the first word is ma that means when ma is there and it is followed by ta when ma is followed by ta the ma changes to na ma changes to na so ma and ta this changes to na here dental plus ta changes to sa dental plus da and da da and da changes to z here ma plus ta ma changes to na then third rule is when the last letter is sa or z so sa or z 
ज इज फॉलोड बाय त then this changes to sh so this changes to sh i'm trying to give you where everyone is mostly the ta is involved so here ta tha da becomes sa ta tha da followed by da and da becomes z here ma becomes na and here sa sa and z becomes sh then we come to the fourth rule when ha and the first letter is and the, is followed by ta then ha changes to sa ha here changes to sa when ha is followed by ta so there are four five rules of ta and the fifth one is when the last letter which is ra and it is followed by ta here the ra plus ta combine to become sh so when the first letter is followed by ta there are five rules ta tha na dental become and ta becomes sa ta ta tha da followed by da and da becomes z ma plus ta becomes ant na z plus sa followed by ta becomes sh ha becomes sa and ra plus ta becomes sh combine these are the five rules we have got then the sixth one when the last letter is z and the first letter is ma stroke na that means z is followed by ma stroke na the z changes to either sa or sh depending on the phonetic sound so here they have given it it can be sma it can be uh, shma or it can be sna it can be shna the examples given are yas plus na becomes yasna ras plus nu becomes rashnu so here one sa is there one sh is there you can remember to and vas plus ma is vasma that is carry you can remember to yasna you should remember yas plus na and ras plus nu becomes rashnu you can remember rashnu you should know okay so these six are there which is easier to remember and then we come to the first one so when i written in one book but i have forgotten an aspirate guttural palatal and labial are followed by then you have to remember this sh r w na ta and ma that you can remember in your own way make a word from it shava shavantam something like that shavantam and then you get sha ra va na ta ne ma so then the unaspirated guttural palatal what are the guttural chalo tumhe loko mane kyo consonants cha go and go okay that is ka ka and ga ga and it is aspirant ha aspirant on aspirant jo ek tamam hai on aspirant palatal cha and ja cha and ja cha and ja 
followed by this this unaspirate change hmm? they become aspirate now ka and ga no aspirate so chhe ka and ga ha ka and ga hmm? chain janu to kai nahi ne pa ne form ba ma pa becomes fa fa ba remains the same. ba doesn't have aspirate so where the aspirate is not there it changes to kha in lieu of that so all cha and ja also will become kha kha and ba will also become kha okay kha so that is how you now you and then the examples are very easy irich plus irikta and baj plus ta bakta okay so we have done this on sandhis we'll do the roots ma'am you bolya ke palatine na libial ma bhi kha thai jase ha jare aspirate che nahi to palatal ma aspirate form che nahi ka form nahi to it will become kha libial ma ba doesn't have an aspirate form so it will become kha okay thank you you feel this is enough or you want to we want to finish roots so what i can't make out <laughs> we'll finish roots ma'am we'll finish yes we'll Chara. finish the roots yeah roots finish kariye pachi ki we can because these are simple now you should remember so the roots to tum logo ne you have to learn by heart ha huh? so here when you are given the roots you remember them r pachi tap she bheres खशी है तो प्लीज खशी ना बोलता शी बोल जो शी टू रूल टू शाइन पी वेरेस टू वर्क उश टू बर्न टू शाइन केरे टू डू स्टू टू प्रेज इश टू विश पेरेस टू आस्क डेरे टू टेर ई टू गो टू मूव पा टू प्रोटेक्ट स्ना टू बेद दा टू गिव टू नो वच टू स्पीक Druj to lie, to hurt, to deceive. Pre to love, chit to think, and you to join, and bearest to exalt. So these are the roots. Main roots you have to remember, and you remember how to write also. Plus one dash. Okay, that is how you write the roots. Then we go to the vowel gradation, which is really the important thing. So in vowel gradation. simple vowel is a so we get guna and raddi so a becomes a remain a in guna and in raddi becomes a ah. then e and long e this remains becomes a a and i correct and u and long u becomes a o and a u and a r becomes a r and a r so a remains the same in guna a and raddi becomes a e and e becomes a a and a i u and u becomes a o and a u and ere becomes r and a so the roots are tap to heat becomes tap and tap man to think man and man she to rule shay and shai she to lie down means say and sai gush to hear becomes gaosh and gaosh who to pound becomes hao and hau bere to carry becomes bar and bar 
and Meres to rub becomes Mars and Mars. Okay, so we got that. The Riddhi form of gum becomes gum. Peres, Mars. Free, Guna is fry. Okay, Peres, Guna is parse and Riddhi will be Pass. Guna yes. form of free is fry. 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 Okay. Riddhi okay. form of stu is tau. Tau. Hmm? And guna is tau. Tau. Tan to stretch. Tan and tan. Correct. Stere to spread becomes star and star. Budge to divide becomes budge and budge. Knee to lead becomes nae and nae. Mruth becomes mrao and mrao. P becomes pai and pai. Shru becomes srao and srao. And pere becomes par and pa. Okay. See now, I have just gone through it quickly, but I feel by now you should know this, you have already studied for Termina. But if you just take half an hour and go through it again to remember yourself, it will help because just now all of a sudden it's fresh in your mind. And I hope it is okay for you all. Next time, if you like, if you want to, then we'll do primary noun adjectives. Yeah, ma'am. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, You can now relax and enjoy your Sunday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody wants to know. Thank you. Have a good week ahead. Thank you so much, Shirin Auntie. It is so much appreciated. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you, Auntie. Ma'am, sure. Oh, you. Uh, did I miss out anything before phonetic divisions of alphabets, vowels? No, we went straight to phonetic divisions. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.